Premier League lawyers investigating illegal broadcasting of top flight matches by Saudi Arabia as Newcastle face nervy wait to see if piracy claims will affect their £300 million takeover. The Premier League are investigating claims Saudi Arabia illegally show games by and sports told Premier League clubs to block the £300 million Newcastle takeover. A part of the Premier League's owners and directors test will be. On this matter the proposed purchase has come under pressure from Amnesty International by Max Winters for Mail Online published, 001 BST, the 23rd of April 2020, updated, 820 BST, the 23rd of April 2020 Premier League lawyers are reportedly investigating claims that Saudi Arabia are involved in the illegal broadcasting of top flight matches placing Newcastle's proposed £300 million takeover by a Saudi-led consortium in doubt. It emerged on Tuesday night that English football's biggest overseas broadcast partner Be In Sports had urged clubs to block the move backed by funds from Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, controlled by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The broadcast giants shone a light on Saudi Arabia's involvement in the piracy of matches, highlighting the Premier League's unsuccessful attempts to take legal action against the state-owned satellite provider, Arabzat, in Saudi Arabia. Premier League lawyers are investigating possible Saudi Arabia's role in the piracy of matches the Premier League have been urged to block Newcastle's £300 million takeover by Bein Sports Arabzat sends out Premier League fixtures on the pirate channel Bouk. And now, according to the Times, a key decision in the owners and directors test that looks at suitability of a potential owner will be based around whether the allegations of piracy are grounds to reject the takeover apostrophe. Takeover rules were tightened in 2018 so that any potential bias could come unstuck even if they had not been found guilty of a crime. If the Saudis are found to be complicit in illegally broadcasting Premier League matches, that would fit into the dishonest criteria within the framework designed to judge potential buyers. However, it is claimed such a crime could be difficult to tie to the prospective owners and those set to run the club even though the Premier League has been targeting Bouk in the past. Yasir al rumayn is the governor of the Saudi PIF and is set to become the new chairman. Further pressure on the takeover has come from campaign group Amnesty International, who wrote to Premier League chief Richard Masters urging him to consider Saudi's human rights record before signing off on the deal. In a letter replying to the campaign group's UK director Kate Allen, Masters said, You will appreciate that these matters are often subject to media speculations but at their heart are due processes required by UK law and by the Premier League zone rules, which can't be conducted in public and on which we can't comment. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has denied ordering the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, whose fiance Hatija Chengdiz on Wednesday urged the Premier League to block the takeover. League chief Richard Masters has said that the proposed deal will be examined with Rigish said, the Premier League should not allow someone like Bin Salman, who has yet to face any accountability for the murder of my late fiancé, to be so involved in sports in the UK. Doing otherwise will greatly stain the reputation of the Premier League and the UK. But should all go ahead as planned, the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund will become the new majority owners at St James's Park holding 80% of the club along with 10% splits for financier Amanda Stavely and property tycoons David and Simon Rubin. Yasir al rumayn will become Newcastle's new chairman if the deal is completed. Let's block ads. Why?